This is my wife's 2020 Alfa Romeo Stelvio. And today we're gonna to review it and give you our overview opinion on the truck as a whole. As for the drivetrain, the 2020 models are the same as the 2019. They both share the same inline four cylinder, 280 horsepower, 2.0 liter, making 306 foot pounds of torque. It's actually a surprisingly peppy, powerful little motor. New for 2020 though is they offer the painted body instead of the black plastic now. You could get painted calipers. She got the red interior. They have the power lift gate. Eight speed transmission, and they are unbelievably fuel efficient. Also, new for 2020 is they changed the steering wheel shape a little bit, it's sleeker. And just the overall better shape, in my opinion. Start stop on the steering wheel. They also add the little Italian flag. And the infotainment control knob is also different from the 2019s. And the actual infotainment system is all different touchscreen. They added some more technology to it and it's just an overall better system. The red aluminum is not a factory option. That's something that my wife found and we add it ourselves. Even steering wheel, even seats. They don't, Alfa Romeo doesn't offer air conditioned seats, just heat it. And this is the control for the drive modes. You have A for all weather, N for natural, and D for dynamic. And it actually surprisingly changes the truck quite a bit from each mode to mode. You even got a little torque and boost gauge, oil gauge. Also, I do believe new for 2020 is, I think they all now come with a wireless phone charging port. Right there. Pretty cool. And it even comes up on here. Wireless charger. Inside you got your standard auxiliary USB ports. The little Alfa Romeo key symbol. If your key ever dies, you put it there so you can start the truck. And the overall fit and finish is pretty damn good. When you compare this truck to other competitors from other manufacturers in its price range, it really does have a lot more standard equipment, 
and I think it just looks better and they offer some better qualities and better color interiors. It's a pretty nice little truck. The rear seats are also pretty roomy. Got plenty of headroom. The steering is not too tight, not too heavy. And I will say the ride quality is pretty unbelievable. It takes bumps and potholes really well. As for overall acceleration, it's pretty good for a four cylinder, turbocharged four cylinder. It moves pretty good. It's a fun little truck. The two complaints I do have about it as far as performance wise and the brakes I think they should have been a little more sensitive you gotta really lay into them which I do not like I prefer them to be sensitive and I'm sure if you're watching this and if you own an Alpha or drove an Alpha you probably noticed it yourself when you're starting from a dead stop there's definitely a big dead spot once you start laying the throttle and I don't think it's a turbo lag thing. I think it's almost like a programming thing. So I'm probably gonna get her a pedal commander and install that soon and see if it takes care of that problem because I, it drives me crazy. But besides that, it's a pretty well performing SUV. It feels good, it feels different. Very unique feel and drive quality to it. You can feel the engine just becomes a little bit more, a little bit less responsive. The steering gets a little looser. Just a more comfort feel. But there's definitely, you could definitely feel it between modes. And I feel, I feel like in some cars you don't really feel too much of a difference between the modes, and others you obviously feel a huge difference. But one's pretty good. So Alfa Romeo advertises this truck 0 to 60 at 5.4 I believe. So today but we're gonna try it ourselves on the Draggy and see what it does. So, after we've had this for how many months, babe? Two months. Not even? Not and a half. Yeah. What's your opinion on it? I really love it. And um, it has a lot of power to it. And it rides really well. And um, it's different. It has a very different, unique feel to it, right? Totally. Yeah, that's what I like about it, too. Because the one cool thing about Alpha is that if you're on the fence about them, they definitely have a different feel where you can almost tell it's European. It, it, it feels it feels lighter on its feet than it actually is. It's a pretty agile little fun truck. So just trying once with the Draggy, we got a 5.8, which isn't bad. It's pretty hot and humid today and I didn't really go crazy trying to launch it or anything. So 
it's not bad. And as for an overall opinion, I think it's an awesome little truck. For the price, you can't really go wrong. You get a lot for your money. Good bang for your buck. Until next time, thanks for watching, guys.